Hi, I'm Sue. Are you looking for a slightly healthy alternative to a meat lasagna? My vegetarian lasagna is super light, delicious, healthy. I combined spinach, ricotta and tomato. You won't even know you're missing meat. And if you want the full recipe, pop over to sumariep.com where I've got all the details of this recipe. If you're new here today, hi. If you're from the USA, my website also has a USA unit measurement converter. So stick around right to the end and I'll give you a tip on how to ensure your lasagna comes out perfect. So let's get cooking. I've prepped my bechamel sauce. So if you want to pop over to how to make my bechamel sauce, I'll put the link up there. So I've made that today with whole milk, but you can also use oat milk. And we've got our spinach and I've prepared the spinach. I've just steamed that and then chopped it up. And I've, I'll put a photo here. I've drained off some of the excess moisture with paper towel and I'm cheating. I'm using a ready-made Neapolitana sauce. Or you can also make your own tomato sauce. I've got a recipe link in sumariep.com and I'm using lasagna that requires no pre-boiling. I just wanted to make a super simple, easy lasagna. So the first step is we want to mix our ricotta cheese, spinach and an egg and a few spices together. So I'm just gonna add in one egg that's beaten. Oh, before you do anything else, preheat your oven. Pop your oven on 200 degrees so it's super hot. So I've got one, 250 gram tub of ricotta. Whoops, that came out really easy. If your ricotta has lots of liquid, drain it off. And I'm just gonna add some pepper, some salt, quarter of a teaspoon of ground nutmeg. And I don't have any garlic, so I'm using just half a teaspoon of garlic granules. Mix that up together. I had fresh spinach that I prepared, but if you like, you can also use frozen spinach and that works just as well. So that's it. Now we start construction. So grab our baking dish, and grab our sauce. So I like to make sure the sauce lines the bottom. Next step is lasagna. Then we'll add some of our bechamel. So I've got a half a cup measurement here. I don't like adding too much. I like leaving a lot for the top. I've got my parmesan here and I forgot to put it into my um, finish. So let's just add half of that into our finish mix now and then we'll keep half of it for the top okay it's not a tragedy okay next step is the tomato sauce so we're gonna add tomato it's great to prep your sauces the day before and then this will take no time to put together and then we add our lasagna You want to make sure that the top of the lasagna is all covered. Squish it down slightly to get any air out. And then a generous dusting of the rest of the parmesan. Now this is ready to pop in the oven for 30 minutes until it's golden brown. So let's get cooking. Our lasagna is out of the oven. It smells delicious. Now the bonus tip, don't cut it yet. Let it sit for at least 15 minutes before you serve it. It'll still remain hot but you won't have it slopping everywhere. So my lasagna serves six, so I usually cut it into roughly six equal pieces. The first piece is always the hardest to get out. Look at that, all that creamy, delicious goodness. Looks pretty good. So thank you for watching today. I'm gonna to go away and eat my delicious vegetarian lasagna. Let me know in the comments below if you've tried this and you like my recipe, or let me know your favorite lasagna, and I'll see you next time. Bye.